Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Van Horn. He lives in a world where every second counts. Come on, let's go. We haven't got time. Peter wants TSN in Calgary. Get a haircut, Peter. Right now, you are completely up to date. What a day it's been. Thanks for joining us. We'll do it again tomorrow, 6.30 Eastern. For all of us here, I'm Jim Van Horn. Have a great night. And joining us now in the course side seats is the one and only Jim Van Horn. I remember working in that newsroom at Shepherd and Victoria Park being mildly terrified of you, Jim. <laughs> no, come no, on. No, no, you were so kind, so sweet. But if I ever messed up on the teleprompter, you never would never say a bad word, but you would just give us a look. And that look said more than any words could. <laughs> and you were the first commentator ever hired? Yeah. It was just, I, I, was, I guess I was the cheapest. I don't know. I, <laughs> but just, you, I was the easiest. As far as a career goes, that's rolling the dice. You're like, I don't know if this is going to work out. I knew. I, I just had this feeling that the TSN was going to be what it is today. I just, I just, people said I, I was crazy. I said, what are you going to do? 24 hours of tiddlywinks? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it had to have been fun because you guys were basically inventing sports television in this country. You know what the fun. logo stood for? You know what it represented? The TSN logo? It was a scoreboard. The lights ah, on okay. a scoreboard. Yeah, that right. makes sense. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The question, the needless information. Did you helped come up with that uh, I no. feel like no because <laughs> it seems like in the early days you guys pretty much had to come up with everything on well the, the commentators were the producers the presenters the writers the reporters we did everything and it, it was actually you'd walk into the station and Michael Lansbury who was the vice president of program would say you want to do basketball we got uh, we got the CIAU college right you want to do basketball Jim I said no I don't think so well, what do you want to do? I said, I'd like to do tennis. Said, okay, we'll do tennis. You know, it, you just, you got to do what you wanted to do. And those jackets, iconic, and one of them's in the Hockey Hall of Fame? My, one of my jackets is in the Hockey Hall of Fame, yes, in the uh, broadcast section. I just, I, I, I tell people, I'm in the Hockey Hall of Fame. But you said that when you guys would first go out to media conferences when the network just started <laughs> and you're wearing those jackets, people didn't know what, what that what was. What the hell is TSN? You know? so, <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> and then, yeah, I love the fact that there was a great promo there that we just saw you uh, with the Hummer. Uh, the Van Damme good one. The <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun time shooting that stuff? That was the best one. Yeah. We, there's a scene in that, that uh, promo where my partner is dying, and he dies in my arms, and I go, no! <laughs> we were on the second level of the parking lot at Victoria Park and Shepherd. There was a lady parking on the first. She thought someone was being killed and called the police. <laughs> okay, so you shot a bunch, and we have some more we're going to we look have at? some more here we're going to have Some a look more at of those here. promos. Let's see. The Daily News says Van Horn is fantastic. The National Globe calls Van Horn Van Damn Good. You break stories. What is the score? I break things. Jim Van Horn stars in Sports Desk 6, 30 <laughs> Eastern. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, good that times. Was, we shot that in one day. Yeah. <laughs> one it was quick. Day. Yeah. It was. Nothing's changed, Jim. <laughs> Everything's. But the production quality, pretty high that on that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Andy Bianchi was the guy that came up with that. That's right. Yeah, yeah he was a very talented guy. Well, still is, I suppose. <laughs> Um, anything you miss about those old days specifically? No. No. <laughs> what? Nope. I don't miss it at all. No. Nope. You don't like informing the nation? Nope. I, you know what? When I when I moved on, I was ready to move on, and I was ready for something different. I had a very short attention span. It lasted 17 years. <laughs> well, I, one thing I remember because I was lucky enough to work behind the scenes when you were anchoring, and um, you would anchor during the day, and you would do sports breaks every on the hour, every hour, and then you would throw to the next bit of programming. Wrestling. On the Usually wrestling, but sometimes. No, 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 no. Wrestling. Oh, wrestling. Wrestling. Right, but sometimes something even more exciting, and uh, something that I know you enjoy, and that's of course Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> That was our. That was what we did. I, I was. I think I was the only guy that ever drooled on live <laughs> television. <laughs> it was fun. It what was, was fun. some of the program though? You said wrestling. I remember. So I didn't get TSN growing up. I grew up on a farm. We had a, a satellite, or not a satellite. We had an antenna. So whenever I got to a hotel, I'm like, oh, here we go. I finally get to see it. Be a lot of lumberjack, lumberjack challenges. Lumberjack, uh, lumberjack uh, Pat Marsden had his own show. What's your? It's it's your call. 
Yeah. And that was dangerous because there was never a seven second delay <laughs> for the people that called in. And you never knew oh, what some of them were going show. to say. Oh, it was yeah. a call-in okay. show, yeah. 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 And uh, there was uh, uh, Dale Barnes hosted a soccer show. Graham Leggett hosted a shock yeah. soccer show. Anyway, and, and Dale Barnes was this very sophisticated Englishman. And Graham Leggett was the, the, the Scot who just, ah, this is all crap, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he was soccer at TSN. He was. He, yeah. was, he was marvelous. Um, and then... There were so many other great broadcasters that you worked with. We wanted to know what you thought of some oh, of yeah. your former co-workers from back in the day. So we're going to oh, throw out some names at you, and you can just say what comes to mind. Uh, so the first one is a guy who was hired uh, with you, another day one -er, uh John Wells. John Wells was, uh, was the guy everybody looked up to. He was the CBC veteran. He had hosted the Olympics in Los Angeles. And uh, he walked around with a sartorial splendor <laughs> that uh, everybody could uh, sort of try to emulate. Uh, another day winner, Michael Landsberg. Landsberg was and still is a character. I mean, Michael was Michael. He was very unique. You never called him Mike. That's true. To That's this right. day. You always call him Michael. Yeah. But uh, once you got to know Michael, it's a heart of gold. Yeah. yeah. A heart of gold. Uh, amazing guy. Uh, another amazing guy who shares this studio with us, Gino Retta. Gino had a mustache. <laughs> and so did Chris Seedens. And so did I. And all of a sudden, one day, they showed up without their mustaches. And the rumor, and the Bill Houston, who was the hockey or the, uh, the media columnist at the time for the Globe, wrote that everybody except Van Horn was ordered to shave <laughs> off their mustaches because he was the only one allowed to have a stash. Uh, Makes a sense, though. A guy you handed the <laughs> reins to the desk to, Rod Smith, who I believe when you guys did the, uh, the handover, he put on a mustache. I think he did. But he, he was a natural to, to take over. I mean, yeah. Rod was just as solid as, as they come. And uh, I mean, he's doing it to this day. 17 years he's been doing it. And uh, he's just as, as good as, as, as they come. An mm -hmm. incredible person, too. And then uh, a gentleman who recently passed away, and we saw him there. You, you, you made fun of his haircut, but just an amazing reporter, Peter Watts. Peter Watts had the best Rolodex of anybody I ever knew in this <laughs> industry. If, if you were stuck to find out information on anyone, he literally had this Rolodex. He had two of them, and he had every phone number of every person who was in the sports world. It was unbelievable. I feel like that's there's like a TSN original about his Rolodex that yeah. we, we should probably produce. And his okay. outtakes. His How, outtakes are classic. Now come on in here, Hound Dog. Um, the Sour Face Selfie social media campaign, it's been started to raise awareness about bladder cancer. Jim, you were diagnosed with bladder cancer about a decade ago? Yep, 10 years ago. I have uh, had treatment for eight years, and... Uh, Finally, after eight years, they decided it was time to take it out. They took it out, and here we are. And uh, that's been, that was two years ago? Two and a half years ago, yep. Yeah. And, and how are you doing now? I'm, I'm doing fine. A couple of months ago, they said, uh, my, doc, my oncologist, Dr. Alexander Zlata from Mount Sinai, said, they th I think it's time for you to start getting used to the fact that your bladder cancer is not coming back. Uh, you kind of glossed over the, uh, the grisly details. Um, if you listen to the Jan Dan podcast, uh, Jim's with us, and he... He tells us exactly what he went through. So it was uh, nasty. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. And so <laughs> we'll describe what we're okay, doing here. Okay, the the, uh, the sour face selfie is uh, a program that uh, Bladder Cancer Canada is is promoting awareness of bladder cancer. And uh, bladder cancer sucks. There's no doubt about it. Uh, sucking on a lemon sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what we'd like you to do is uh, grab a wedge. Okay. Happy to. Okay. And I am going to uh, take your picture as you. You want to do this together? Right. Yeah, I, th yeah, I, I feel together. like I feel like I'm back in college. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do that. This is called the, the, the sour face selfie, Kay. and I'm gonna post this on social media on okay. Twitter. Okay. And uh, ready? One, right. two, three, go. Oh, oh, I got an extra sour one. <laughs> oh. You look like you're having fun. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say it brings me back. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, and and you pointed out to us on the podcast. Um, one of the most underfunded cancer uh, treatments. Underfunded and the most expensive to treat. $250,000 per patient per year. Wow. And the reason it's so expensive, it keeps coming back. 80% of bladder cancer will return. It's prevalent in men. The fourth leading cancer in men, 12th leading cancer in women. 90,000 have ca bladder cancer in Canada. 9,000 will be diagnosed. If you see red, yeah. blood in the urine, or any stinging, any pain as you're going to the washroom, Call your doctor. Don't be tough. Don't be macho. Take care of business. It can save your life. You did it, and we're so happy that you're healthy and uh, and you're here. This yeah. has been so much fun. And, and you say you don't miss your job, but can you do bumper? Can you send us to commercial? It's right there. 
The NBA Awards capped off an incredible NBA season. We took a look back at the best plays from award nominees in the SC Top 10. That's coming up next. <laughs> Looks like yes. we were out of a job. <laughs>